In this video, I'm going to show you what £8,500,000 buys you in Marlebone, central London. Now, this home features eight bedrooms, six bathrooms, and it's spread over 4,844 square feet on five floors. Now, what does this price tag get you? Well, let's find out. Now, from the entryway, it leads us into the first room, which is the formal reception space. And check this space out. We have extravagant finishes once again, all throughout, tons of space in here. Fireplace just behind me, and then these two large windows overlooking Montague Square. Now, a bit of history on Montague Square. It was built between 1810 and 1815, and it's been home to some special residents, including Ringo Starr and Jimi Hendrix. Quite cool. Now, from the reception space, it leads us through to the dining area. Stepping through to the dining area. Now, another cool thing is that this home actually used to be an old barrister's office. So the owners took this home and completely refurbished it while still maintaining the classic and original details. Now, from here, we have a terrace or patio space on the ground floor, which we're gonna see later on. And that's the dining area. Now, follow me through here as there's another thing I want to show you, which is quite cool. This home actually has an elevator and it's one of the only homes in Montague Square with a lift, which is quite awesome and convenient, especially because there's five floors in this home. Now through here we have the kitchen and here we are in the kitchen. Now we have stone floors in here, modern appliances, huge melee oven, and then melee appliances up top with your vent. Now the kitchen flows to the breakfast nook and I like this space because it's kind of like an extension of the home. We have these skylights above, which allows that natural light to stream through in the mornings. And then this door leads out to a terrace, which also has access to that view, which we'll see in a moment. And that's the kitchen. Now we've seen the open plan reception and dining area. Let's head downstairs and check out some of the bedroom suites. So up these Portland stone stairs, we're led to the first outside space. And I mean, so much light, so much volume in this space, seating area here, and it flows out to the terrace and take a look at this. Good amount of space for you to get some fresh air. And it's super rare to have outside space in central London. So this is something that is quite sought after. And that's the terrace. Now let's head through and check out the bedroom suites. Here we are on the first floor, which is home to the primary bedroom suite. Follow me through this door and we have the primary bedroom suite and take a look at this space. Extravagant finishes all throughout. I wanna start off with the bed. We have a king size bed here, two bedside tables, and then take a look at the floor to ceiling headrest in here. Speaking of ceiling, ceiling heights continue in this space. Super tall ceilings. We have a feature fireplace in here to cozy up the space. And then just behind me, we have three French doors, which leads out to a private terrace for the primary bedroom suite. Let's take a look at that. Stepping out to the terrace. And I mean, how beautiful is this to have this outside space right in the heart of central London. You have Montague Garden Square just in front of me. And that's the terrace. Now let's head inside and check out the ensuite bathroom. Now through here we have the ensuite bathroom. And I mean, tons of space in here. Starting off with the freestanding bathtub and then behind that we have another feature fireplace. And as we make our way down, double vanity unit, huge mirror here for you to get ready from. We have a window just behind me. And then to my left here, we have a walk-in shower, rainfall shower head and a body spray. Now, the ensuite bathroom also have has tons of storage. So through this door, we have a storage compartment. And then also through here, as well as the storage for the wardrobes in the primary bedroom suite. And that's the primary bedroom suite floor. Let's head upstairs now and check out the other two bedrooms. Here we are on the second floor landing. Now just up this step, 
we have a convenient storage area. So we have some built-in wardrobes here. And I like the hardwood finish throughout this space. Just behind me, we have a window, sash window overlooking the back of the home. Now from here, it leads us up another floor to the third floor where we have the bedroom suites. Just before we get up there, take a look at this, another chandelier. And you can see that gold detailing on the ceiling also, which is quite a cool touch there. Through here, we have the second bedroom. Generous amount of space in here. Built-in wardrobes on this side. We have a full-size bed. And I do like this little seating area here that's quite cozy to wake up to. And then just behind me, we have a window which also looks over the back of the home. And that's the second bedroom. Now let's head through and check out the third bedroom, which is just through here. And through here, we have the third bedroom. Now strong colors all throughout this space. The bed in here is built lower. It's almost like a Japanese style bed on the ground. We have a feature fireplace here just in front of me velvet walls and then two large windows which overlook the front of the home just behind me we have a walk-in wardrobe with space to store clothes and that's the third bedroom now let's check out the bathroom which services these two bedrooms take a look at this we have these gold mosaic tile detailing which you can see all throughout here in the shelving unit also on the vanity and the floor so double vanity unit here Window once again overlooking the front of the home. There's a lot of windows in this house. Walk-in shower with the gold finishes also, and then the rainfall shower head. Montague Square in the heart of central London. Let me know what you guys think. If you want more details on this home, you can check the description down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.